Hello, my name is Joe Longwell, owner and creator of SwoleCall.com, and today I'm going to be doing what will hopefully be a quick review of the PowerBlock Elite 90 dumbbells. I tend to ramble on, so I'm going to try to make this a very short video, and I'll probably add some more uh, information, especially about when you're buying used power blocks, what to look for, and that information is going to be on my blog, SwoleCall.com. It'll be under the equipment review section, and I'll leave a link down in the description below. Um, so let's get started with the review. The point of the review today is to go over some of the little cons, complaints I see that people talk about on weightlifting forums, and some of the reviews you see on websites like Amazon.com. Um, and some of these complaints are valid, although they're kind of nitpicking. Some of them I'm aware of, but they don't really affect me when I'm lifting. So we're just going to kind of go over them, and I'm going to tell you right now, I love these dumbbells, so this review is probably going to be kind of biased. But let's do it. Uh, first thing people notice about these uh, dumbbells are the handles, the way they're made. It's an unorthodox handle uh, and the fact that it's got four posts so people are afraid their hands are going to feel trapped in there. Uh, that was a concern I had too but after using them I don't really see it as an issue. I actually like these padded posts here. They're very soft and padded. They don't hurt your wrist. Um, one of the things I like too is when I'm doing a movement like a press when my wrist starts getting weak or I'm not paying attention to my grip and I feel that post hit my wrist, then I know I need to you know, focus up and, and get everything back in line. So it's helpful for that. And if you get fatigued and you're hitting your wrist, it's very soft, comfortable, it doesn't hurt. The grip itself is a nice rubber. It's a very, gives you a nice solid grip. And it's non-slip. Unless your hands get really, really sweaty, then you just obviously wipe the them. The handles have plastic. I'm not sure what kind of plastic it is, but it's a very tough, durable plastic. I've had these dumbbells for over a year, and the slots show nowhere from the pins. And these are the weight selection pins here. These are also plastic too, and this is another point of contention with uh, reviewers, is that they claim that their pins break, uh, they're flimsy, and they are flexible, which they need to be, because they need to be able to slide between these uh, grooves here. There's a welded bar on each side of the plates, and that pin locks in. As long as you insert the pin properly and pay attention to what you're doing, you shouldn't ever have a problem. If the pin does break, power block sells replacements, so you're not going to be stuck with a pair of useless dumbbells. Also, the pins have a magnet inside, so once you do select your repeat, you'll actually hear a little click right there. That's the magnet engaging the metal bar. If you have concerns that that will slide out during your lifts, it will not it will not slide out of there. It is locked tight. Actually, when you pull it out, it takes a little bit of effort. So if you're doing maybe, I don't know, snatches, cleans, always get them confused. Any explosive movement, you know, you're lifting the dumbbell up like this, um, there's you know, no concern that it's going to come, the pin's going to come out. The other problem people have with these is the way that you change the smaller weight increments, like the two and a half pound weights. The incremental weight changes are done within the handle. There's a lever here that says closed, open, closed, and that refers to these metal tubes. When you switch that to open, it allows you to remove these two and a half pound weights, and that lets you adjust the weight of the dumbbell. So the handle by itself is five pounds. One weight seven and a half, add the other weight, and you have a 10 pound handle. Always select closed after you place the outer weights back in, drop your handle down in, and now you can make weight changes in 10 pound increments. There's 20, and as you notice, the weights are nested, they're very compact, they take up little space. There's 30 pounds, and you can see that the weight changes are, are pretty fast. Now if I want to go to a 25 pound dumbbell, and I already have the dumbbell on a 30 pound selector, I pull the pin, pull the pin straight out. I think that's another problem. Let me do it on this side so you can see it more easily. When you push the pin in, it needs to come past the dumbbell, straight in, and you just slide it in like that. Don't pull up, don't turn it, straight out. And you should never have a problem with the pin. But like I said, we're going to go to a 25 pound dumbbell. 
We remove the five pounds of adder weights, replace the handle, select the 30 pound color coded weight, and now we have a 25 pound dumbbell. Now we can add an adder weight to this and make it a 27 and a half. We can add both and it'll be 30 pounds, but we can't make a 32 and a half pound dumbbell. That's probably one of the, another big issue with people is that when you go from 30 to 35, 40 to 45, 50 to 55, um, you can't make a two and a half pound adjustment there. It has to be a five pound jump, which means if you're doing an exercise where you're using the pair of dumbbells, it's going to be a 10 pound jump. And you can maybe add more volume before you make a weight jump or use wrist weights to help you get past that if that's going to be a plateau or a sticking point for you in your workouts. It's just something you kind of have to, to work around. Um, the same can be said for spin locks, except that you could just leave a two and a half pound weight on one end if you don't mind it being a little unbalanced. Uh, you can get around it that way. Uh, I'm not sure if Iron Masters allow you to do a two and a half pound. It might be the same way. Bowflex Select Text, I don't know. I just know about these. These are what I've used. The Power Block Classic 50 Plus and Classic 70s, which look very similar to the elites, almost identical, they allow two and a half pound increments, uh, if I remember correctly, because I did own those for a time before I upgraded to the 90 pounds. And that's going to bring me to one of my complaints, is that the elites max out at 90 pounds per hand. Now, that might be enough for some people, but if you're used to lifting heavier dumbbells, or your goals are to lift heavier, then this is something to think about. These might not be for you if you feel 90 pounds is going to limit you. When I purchased these, originally PowerBlock offered a 130 pound add-on kit. Uh, right after I purchased these, they discontinued it and I was not able to find a kit anywhere. So that's kind of my complaint right there. Um, and it's more with PowerBlock's decision to discontinue the 130 pound add-on kit. Um, why they didn't offer enough to cover, you know, at least half of the dumbbells that they sold. Uh, maybe they did, but I think it's a little short-sighted and it kind of left a little bit of a bitter taste in my mouth. I still love the dumbbells and if I had the money I'd probably upgrade to the urethanes. Uh, Powerblock makes a urethane line which allows you to upgrade to 125 pounds per hand I believe or their commercial line allows you to upgrade to 175 pounds per hand. Uh, conversely, Iron Master start at 75, you can upgrade them to 120, or maybe it's 125 pounds per hand, and all the way up to 165 pounds per hand. So that's something to think about if you want to go over the 90 pound mark. Um, obviously, you could get these and add hex dumbbells, uh, or get larger uh, spin lock handles like a 16 or an 18 inch, and you could definitely go heavier than the 80 pounds that you're limited to on the 14 inch handle if you use 10 pound pancake plates. So I'm getting off track here a little bit. Back to the dumbbells themselves. Um, one thing I like too, they're flat on the ends, so setting up for bench press, you don't have a plate digging into your leg. They're comfortable to rest on your leg. They're also flat on the bottoms, so you set them on the floor, they're not gonna roll. Um, I've even seen people use these for push-up handles. So there's a possibility there. They take up very little space. As you can see, I have 180 pounds of weight right here. So these on a bench would take you a long way in your fitness goals and would take up very little room. And actually when compared to buying machines or if you don't have room for a rack, a barbell, and all the weights to go with that, um, these are cheap in comparison. So especially if you can buy them used. Um, so it's a great way to go. That's basically it about these dumbbells. I mean, I, I don't think I'm saying anything that hasn't been said in the reviews. If you go to Amazon.com, there are 600 plus reviews. The bulk of them are positive. Um, take a chance on them. I bought the classics and I resold them. They held their resale value very well. So if you don't like them, your loss will probably be very little. Uh, you might even be able to get pretty close to what you paid for out of them. So. If this is something you're leaning towards, you want fast weight changes, you aren't put off by the, by the way that they work, or by the way your hand is inside the handle, which really looks more constricting than it is, because I don't really find it constricting, unless you have maybe like 9, 10 inch wrists, um, 
because there is three inches of space here. So there's plenty of room. Um, I've probably forgotten some, some things I wanted to touch on, but for the sake of brevity, I'm going to wrap this review up. Uh, I'm going to have more information posted on my blog. Again, that's swolecall.com, S-W-O-L-E-C-A-L-L.com, and it'll be under the Equipment review section. So thanks for watching this review. I hope it helped you out and give you some things to think about, and have a great day. Hello, my name is Joe Longwell, owner and creator of SwoleCall.com, and today I'm going to be doing what will hopefully be a quick review of the PowerBlock Elite 90 dumbbells. I tend to ramble on, so I'm going to try to make this a very short video, and I'll probably add some more uh, information, especially about when you're buying used power blocks, what to look for, and that information is going to be on my blog, SwoleCall.com. It'll be under the equipment review section, and I'll leave a link down in the description below. Um, so let's get started with the review. The point of the review today is to go over some of the little cons, complaints I see that people talk about on weightlifting forums, and some of the reviews you see on websites like Amazon.com. Um, and some of these complaints are valid, although they're kind of nitpicking. Some of them I'm aware of, but they don't really affect me when I'm lifting. So.